Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a name tag to Minecraft Blender Rig. So, hope you guys enjoy, and make sure to subscribe. So, here is a really simple Minecraft scene, where I have my character right over here with a stone sword. So, let me just render this. So, it just looks like this, nothing too special. But the thing is, I want a name tag for myself. So what I'm going to do is go back to material. So by the way, here's the sun that gives me the light source. Anyways, um, I am going to do shift A, which is adding the object, or you can just go to object mode, add, and then I'm going to add in an empty plain axis. Now this is just literally nothing but like a stabilizer, I guess. This is what we're going to use um, to put in the name tag. So, uh, use the left click and then left click on your rig's head, like on the top of it, and then do shift S. Now, this is snap, and then you just click on selection to cursor. Okay, now this is right over here, and it's on top of the head. This is pretty good. And now I'm going to rotate this in the... Um, similar angle just like that and I'm gonna put this a little bit above the head because that's where the name tag is going to be so um, right now if you like try to move your head this plane axe won't really move so what we're gonna do is right click on the plane axe shift click on the um, head bone and then do control P now um, select bone and now the bone is parented to this plane axe. So if you try to move your head now, it's gonna move together. Like for example, if I just select this, well, it won't because it's now together. It's just snapped together. So it's just doing like this. It's just gonna move together, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm gonna do shift A and then add in the text. So you shouldn't be in pose mode to add a text. So yeah, I added a text now. Now I'm going to hit tap, which is basically how you um, change and write the letters inside. I'm gonna put in my name over here um, and then press tab again. Okay, now here's our name. Now go to the font tab and then find font which is where we're going to um, add in our Minecraft font. So, um, my fonts are located in my C drive, Windows, and then if it's too complicated, you can just go to the search bar, find fonts, now find Minecraftia. I'm gonna put this font download link in the description down below. And now here it is. So, what we're going to do is R, I believe it's um, Z, and then 90. Never mind, no, don't do that. I guess that's not the thing. So, R, X, 90. There we go. Okay, now, um, before we do anything, I'm going to um, select this to center, center. Never mind, top baseline. So, um, for now, this is not gonna move with your head bone. So, pose mode. So, this doesn't move with your head and this plane axe. So, what we're gonna do is select to the front again, and then find the clip thing, and then copy location. Now, we're gonna do this, and then select our empty. Or is that empty? Here it is. So now it's gonna be together. Woohoo! Isn't that good? So just uh god. So I need to repos reposition this like that. Okay, now that's just perfect. That's just perfect. Okay, now we have our name tag, but this is too big. Just press S. Now you can just control the size. I'll put it a little bit more smaller. Okay, now if we do rendered, it's just like that. But if you want 
if you guys want a 3D text, then I'd suggest to go over here, find something called extrude into geometry. Now, put this higher, and the higher it is, the more pixelated it gets. So I'm gonna. Oh god, that is way too pixelated. I prefer, I prefer um, 0 0.05. That's just good enough. Just like that. And now, um, we're gonna get into the color. So, down here, or not, we can just go to here, the material, new, and then add in a color, whatever you want. So then, if you render it, it's gonna be just like this. So, if you want to put in more shadows and stuff to your, um, this this fun thing I'm just gonna go and split the screen just like this I'm gonna make this as the node editor just find node editor okay now we have the nodes over here so what we're gonna do is stretch this way out and then shift a again search mix shader so here it is now we're gonna put this right over here and now this controls the shader so the more lower it is it doesn't uh, the shader doesn't affect it the higher it is it gets more black and more shaded I prefer I prefer like 0 0.4 because well it's more lighter than the original I guess I just want to light things so you can just play around with this thing and now if you render it, it's just going to be like this. So, well, hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. This was a really quick tutorial. And um, please comment down below what you guys want to ask me next time. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to see you guys all next time. Bye. Okay, so before I actually end the video, um, I forgot to tell you guys that um, if you guys are more of a reader, um, in the description down below, there's going to be a text and um image made tutorials so you guys can read it and do a step by step so yeah anyways see you guys all next time